successfully achieved that major milestone of every rocket launch. Uh, we're actually decreasing the thrust in our engines a little bit around the time of max Q to minimize some of those forces. Coming up about uh, 50 seconds from now, Head back into chill. Uh, there'll be three events in quick succession. The main engines will cut off, the two stages will separate, and the second stage will start its Merlin vacuum engine, uh, which you heard is just beginning its own chill procedure. Cutoff happening just a few seconds from now. Pico. some of the flicker from Merlin vacuum engine plume as it uh, flicker in the cameras as, as that plume sort of interacted with the top of the interstage there for a moment. Uh, the next major event is uh, the fairing deploy coming up just a few seconds from now. That's the second stage that will be deploying its fairing. Beagle is on nominal two. What we're going to see coming up pretty shortly is a boost back burn. What we're going to see coming up pretty shortly is a boost back burn. And there you see the, the fairings falling away behind. Uh, there's a still, they're light, they're made of carbon fiber. Let's go over what we can see on your screen. On the left-hand side, that's a camera mounted on the top of the first stage of the rocket, looking down towards the nine Merlin engines at the bottom. Uh, in that view, you can see those titanium grid fins. Uh, they slowly deployed just after stage separation, and those grid fins will allow the Falcon 9 first stage to guide itself back down towards the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. You can see uh, brief flashes of those cold gas thrusters as they guide, uh, pro provide additional control authority for that first stage. On the right-hand side of your screen is a camera mounted at the very bottom of the second stage looking down towards the Merlin vacuum nozzle. Uh, of course, at the very other end of that stage is the Bangamandu Satellite 1. Uh, right now, that Merlin vacuum engine is glowing red hot with those exhaust gases as it propels Bangamandu Satellite 1 into its final geostationary transfer orbit. Our Falcon 9 first stage today is going to perform two burn maneuvers in order to get back down towards the drone ship. Uh, the first burn is going to be an entry burn coming up in about 30 seconds. You'll be able to see that entry burn start on the left-hand side of your screen. As a reminder, those uh, bursts of uh, clouds coming out of the Falcon 9 first stage on the left are those cold gas thrusters that, in addition to the titanium grid fins, allow it to provide or to control itself as it comes back down through the atmosphere.
At this point, the Falcon 9 first stage is actually only about 10% of the mass that it was in the pad. So it's actually pretty empty of fuel and liquid oxygen right now. So this entry burn is only going to last a few more seconds before cutting off. And there it is. So uh, be prepared for those two events to happen in quick succession. So it looks like we don't have a great video signal with that first stage right now, but we do have confirmation that the landing burn has started. Those landing legs should be deploying very soon. There it is. <laughs> and after a brief interruption in the video signal, uh, we are looking at the 25th recovered first stage of a Falcon 9 vehicle. Lastly, you'll notice the engines of the Falcon 9 gimbling. The engines can pivot several degrees and rather quickly, which can provide a lot of control over the stage. Think of balancing a broomstick. You can not only keep the broom vertical, but you can also apply force horizontally and change your position with only input from the very bottom. Uh, what a great sight. Uh, that is a camera on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Uh, the crowd's going nuts here. But we, you know, we didn't really test any of those materials for, you know, is it space hardened or whatever, you know? So, you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have way better CGI if it was fake. I don't have to show you any stinking bashes.